And welcome back to the channel. As we record this on a hot afternoon here, it's 96 degrees as I record this video. So what I want to talk about in this video is a brand new model e-bike out there from Rad Power Bikes called Rad Kick. So there's actually two versions there's the rad kick seven speed and there's the rad kick belt drive the seven speed is 1199 and the belt drive is 1399 but on this video I want to talk about the seven speed since it's the lesser price of the two bikes and might be because of that the one that more people tend to go with so let's talk about that since it's the lesser price and we're um, we're on this in this case we're talking about a budget priced bike so let's go with the 1199 seven speed so let me tell you a little bit about what it has to offer so this bike first off is not going to be one that's going to win any races win any hill climb uh, contests or anything like that this bike is more of a little more than a traditional bike. It, it adds some power, but it's not a lot of power. So basically what I'm trying to say is it's only a 36 volt bike. So probably a great entry level for somebody or somebody that's going to commute, uh, maybe just for, for fun riding around, uh, maybe riding around the city you know, I need a, want a little extra or need a little extra power than what a traditional bike gives you. So basically, let's go over these specs on the bike. So it's a 500 watt motor, 36 volt, as I mentioned. The bike has 40 newton meters of torque. And the battery, once again, 36 volt, 10 amp hour. And they're saying that you'll get a range of between 15 and 35 miles on a charge. The bike has a top speed of 20 miles per hour. It is a class two bike. And the bike is a lightweight bike, they call it. And it's a lightweight in both weight of the bike and cost and power so it's light in all areas and the bike weighs 55 pounds I'm gonna go this way so you can basically just about anyway put that bike almost on a regular bike rack for your car it's not well maybe not though whoa So it does come with a half twist throttle. And it is a step through. There's only one color. I believe the color they call it Arctic Blue. It's really a nice looking bike. And uh With the uh, battery integrated right into the frame, it really looks, looks nice. I like the look of it. So the tires, let's talk about the tires. So these tires are 27 and a half inches by 2.25 inches wide. So these are uh, pretty good sized tires. They're not the widest in the world, but I think that's going to make for that bike being nice and nimble, um, easy to handle. So the bike weighs 55 pounds, as I mentioned, has a payload capacity of 300 pounds. 
It says it'll handle a rider up to 275 pounds, so um, that's quite a bit. It does have a rear rack, and it does have rear uh, our and front fenders. The rack, I should mention, uh, has a weight capacity of 55 pounds, so the same weight as the bike, which is kind of funny. It does have five of assist, uh, pedal assist levels and seven speed. It does also have hydraulic disc brakes, which is really good. Most bikes these days are coming with hydraulic brakes, which is good to see. And it does have 180 millimeter rotors, which is good. Uh, what else can I tell you about this bike? So the shipping. So it does ship for free if you're in all of the US states, except for Alaska and Hawaii, you might want to check. I think you're gonna have to pay I don't know what the shipping cost is for that, but uh, you can check their website. I will leave a link in the description. So at the cost of $11.99, it's a good entry level bike for somebody that's not looking for a speedster of a bike and just want to get something that gives them a little assistance. I think this bike could be perfect. So it's $1,199. They are taking pre-orders right now. The bike is estimated to ship on September the 4th. So that's about four weeks from the time I uh, record this video. So check it out, it's the Rad Kick 7 Speed electric lightweight bike from Rad Power Bikes. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe uh, button. Thank you very much for doing that. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell. And if you want to comment on this video or any other videos on the channel, just go ahead and Leave a comment in the comments below. And once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.